Hello and welcome to Communication Flow where we help you let your words go. In this video, let's talk about the communicative strategies. Have you ever had that experience wherein you wanted to talk to someone but you just don't know how? Or have you ever felt like your heart was racing because you couldn't revive an almost dead conversation? If you worry about those dilemmas, then worry no more because I got you fam. In this video, I'll be teaching you the strategies of communication. Let's start by talking about how to begin a conversation. We call such as nomination. This is the act of proposing or suggesting a topic that you want to talk about. The tough part though is how do you start a conversation? Inc.com suggests 7 ways to start a conversation that leads to where you want it to. Some of the ways which they have suggested revolve around small talk by sharing your thoughts about the weather, sports, the venue, an innocuous observation, or asking a question closely related to the topic which you want to talk about. There's some hate going on when it comes to small talk, but it has been proven and tested to just start a conversation wherein you just shift gears along the road in order to lead them to the topic that you want to talk about. You can also play it cool by telling a joke or coming out with a compliment. My personal favorite though is starting a conversation through a favor. This psychological trick by Ben Franklin states that for some evolutionary reason, when you ask a favor to somebody, you form an inherent connection with that person, making them more open to hearing whatever it is that you have to say. The favor doesn't need to be a grand gesture. A simple can I borrow your pen will already do the trick. The next skill that you need to have after being able to jumpstart the conversation is restriction. This refers to limiting the topic or subject in a conversation. There are times wherein you just don't have much time to talk to somebody or simply want to focus on the important stuff so you practice restriction. This is very helpful in maintaining order during a conversation just like when you're talking to a naughty friend and you outright tell that person, please. Let's focus on discussing the topic during our last lecture and not involve hack dogs in this conversation. When things are set, the next step is to make sure that communication flows. This can be achieved through turn taking. This refers to conventions in which participants allow appropriate opportunities for others to talk or the manner in which an orderly conversation normally takes place. In this strategy, the regulating function of nonverbal communication would really help out. For example, dropping your pitch or volume would let the other person know that you are almost done talking or pointing one's hand towards the other person to indicate that it is his or her time to talk already. Verbally, you may also use conjunctions like nevertheless, however, or therefore to indicate that your feedback is related to what the other person has just said. As a result, this shows the continuity of the conversation. Turn-taking is indeed great because it shows how good a give-and-take relationship looks like. In this video, we were able to discuss 3 out of the 7 communicative strategies. If you want to know what the remaining communicative strategies are, then hit like and subscribe to be notified of our next uploads. This is Sir John signing off for now. See you in the next video.